I'm here live with the one and only MPK of K Mini. So I made my first beat on it today. I just like to show y'all a little bit of things that I learned on it. But this is the beat anyways. So now I want to show y'all how I was able to get my drum pads with the FPC from Fruity Loops so I can auto locate like how to like auto locate the, the channel on the channel. So anyways, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the FPC. So let's do it. So now I have the, MP, the FPC. Right here, as you can see, FPC. Sorry for the quality of this video. I'm recording off of a laptop. But, anyways, now I have my FPC already loaded with all the sounds that I want. So, it's really not that complicated. All you have to do is really first, if you have an MPK or any type of drum pad instrument that you're using or controller, you want to first map your notes for the entire bank. So you will go to this right here, and then go to the last one, map notes for entire bank. Click that, and then you hit all the notes on your pads in order, though. And then you switch to your next pad bank and do it again with the MPK Mini. But if you got like an MPD or an MPC, all you have to do is hit up, hit the pads in order. Now, after you do that, you're basically already done. Um. You will go to the packs or whatever you want to use in any sound. You will add them to the pad, whatever pad you want to use it for. See, if I wanted to use this, I will put it in my second pad. Well, either my first or second, really doesn't matter. Or I can put it in this one right here. Just switch it. Um, different. You have to switch to the different bank. So I'm, I moved on to bank two. And now. And you hit me exactly on my MPK if you want to see. I think it's right there. That's what I'm hitting. So now, so now what you want to do, so I, that's really basically all. Um, if you wanted to sample something, all you have to do is cut the sample out of whatever you're using it from, which you can use in Edison. I'm not gonna get to that right now, but I'll show you. I'll probably post another video up on how to sample it. But all you have to do is cut the sample up, put it in one of the pads, and then you would want to cut by one. You want to cut one. You want to cut by one for both of these right here. If you can see that, these two right here. You want to cut by. You want to cut by one. You want to cut one and by one. So that's all you have to do. Yeah, so back to the way I was saying. Um, now, auto locate. It was very hard for me to find this. It wasn't really, well, it wasn't really that hard. But, like, when I found it, I really didn't know how to use it. And I was looking up YouTube videos and nobody really had it. So I'm here to show you guys how to use it. I put auto locate channel in auto smoothing. That works for me. Now, I go to this one with the box diagram like as a chart. And then I will go to step. And then I will go all the way up here to right here and click step on that too. And then I will go, I will click the microphone right here to go to my settings, my audio settings. And then I will put my buffer link to somewhere lower than what you usually have it. But you want to try to get it so it won't have that crackling sound like this. Like this crackling sound. You hear that crackling sound? It's not really supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to really sound like this. You didn't know. 
that's how my pads really supposed to sound. So you want to delete, so you want to go as low as you can without hearing the crack on the sound. And that's the biggest trick. Now when I get that, I want to record this, press play, and then usually it'll be on beat for me. Sometimes I have little mistakes, I'll just correct them. It's really not that complicated. And yeah, that's really all. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe, rate, comment. Yeah.